Hello and welcome back to another edition of Postal Prospecting. So today, kind of a two-part kind of deal. It's like I got asked a question about this mighty mill and how the insides of it works. And little Alexar is here to assist me as well. Yeah. Hi, everybody. So we're gonna. Are you oh. sure you got that working? I mean. Oh yeah, it works just fine. It's perfect. Right. Because it's it's all so it's like junk. Hey, it's not junk. This is a good piece of machinery. I know, but we had it for a while. It's junk. <laughs> we haven't had it for a while. Yes, we have. How long? Uh, a year. <clears throat> Maybe <clears throat> two years. Definitely have not had this for a year. So. Yes, we have. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm cleaning this out because there's. Because he hasn't cleaned it out since the last time we used it, which was one year ago. It was a couple of days ago. No, it was a couple of years ago. So let me just uh, clear out this and... Yeah, yeah, he's not going to get that piece of junk to work. And we'll just... Oh, I should... Not so easy when you're sitting down and doing this. So let me uh, get this real done, done real quick and be right back. And we're back. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, because that thing takes a while to clean up. And also, yeah, we haven't used this piece of junk in since, I don't know, last, last year. I don't know. This thing is old. It won't work. It's been a week. <laughs> no, it it's hasn't. It's been a week. No, it hasn't. So, to give you an idea of how the mechanics of it work, so these got three both things right here that are all bolted in uh yeah that's and to, to get these out anymore. okay that's enough you're done <laughs> so no. to get to get these no. out if you don't need to replace them you have to unscrew this middle part okay and then it just pops right out but in the whole thing itself this works pretty nicely <laughs> flexible yeah, it gets the gets the rocks everywhere shoots uh -huh. down a tube and just goes crazy uh, really quick. So this thing is okay, okay, okay. It's been a week. No, it hasn't. <clears throat> and then you get your material. All nice and powder form. So, in this one, we're going to close I'm going to close this back up, put this away, and uh, get to the pay dirt cuz this is Brian's hard rock material. Uh Brian or Indiana Creek Gold, yeah. as he's known by in the community. And let's see if we have any found any gold in the rocks mm -hmm. that he sent over. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of happy that we're doing the gold then because that because that old thing, yeah, it does work. It works just fine. Okay. It works terrible, which is not good. Can you can you can crying? Two or one rock at once. Yeah, it can. No, it can't. Last time we put it in there and nothing happened. Nothing. Yeah, and then I fixed it. Yeah, <coughs> and then it didn't work. So, Again. here's the material that we're going to be working with. Here we are. And let you see some of that. Some nice powder. Used to be rocks. Wait, is that actually? Now let me switch cameras and get to the panning here. Can I do the panning? No. So this is really dry, dusty, dirty material. So I did not clean my panning water to do this because I knew this was what it's going to be like. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. So we can go through this, and then let's see if we find any gold in this hard rock material. This stuff is like chocolate milk in here. It was all the hard rock material that I crushed up from the bag, but it's 
just like chocolate milk. And a little out of sort took off because there's nothing to see in the pan. The water's too dirty. But that's okay. We still got a little bit more to go, so let me go back to fast forward and look look at this stuff. This is some nasty dirty stuff. I'm gonna have to get some more from Brian later. This is the real deal experience. You never know what you're gonna get in this stuff. You could find nuggets, could find whatever. That's a little piece of geo that I even threw in the crusher just just for fun. One thing I do want to say when you're doing this, got to make sure to uh, stratify this really well because look at that, that is just clumping up. So stratify really, really well to get that all broken up just like that before you start doing any kind of panning and then stratify it again just in case because this stuff is really dry. Uh, the little air bubbles creates a little pocket and you don't want a whole clump just to go out of your pan because that could contain all your gold. All right. There we go. All right, back to fast forward. So I am back now. I unfortunately did not find any gold in the hard rock material. Now I will go through it one more time just to be sure. But overall, this was actually a really fun bag of, of pay dirt or Indiana hard rock mining for the simple fact that you had to do this from start to finish, and you got it's just a rock. You have to grind it up, make it work, and that's it. And that that is the great thing about this. So uh, overall, I really like this. Uh, like I said, with the <laughs> how dirty the water got, I think I will have to order it and try it again and try some other hard rock materials and uh, different ore to see if I could possibly find that gold inside that rock. Uh, yeah overall a lot of fun and in my next video I want to give you guys a little sneak peek it's just because I'm super excited that this came in it's another one of those Indiana boys it's the Miller prospecting and I got his mighty mini pater I think it's two and a half ounces of pater but the awesome part was I wasn't expecting this included a pan happy panning 2022 number 11 of 25 and mr dylan miller so that's going into my collection of pants that i got signed so far i think that is number two right there which is which is awesome so stay tuned for that one uh, if you haven't done it already go check out brian at indiana creek gold uh he makes some awesome pay dirts uh, i just can't say enough about him also Check out my video in the beginning of the month that's going to give away a bag of some of his awesome pay dirt. Which is going to have, I believe, a quarter gram of gold and a little bit of extra of that Vendetta silver in it. So definitely go check that out and or go check out Brian's channel and all his videos. He got a lot of stuff he's been posting up, so it's awesome to see. Thank you for tuning in and have a great night.